Hey guys, this is Peter, and one of my favorite programs just got a major new version uh, with some great new features, and it, well, it's called All Dials 1 and it's for 2023. Now, I had All Dials 2 for 2022 and 2021, but I've loved this program. I've reviewed it before, just like this one. This one has some great new features, and I'm going to go over them for you. In the past, people have asked me, does it do surround sound? Does it record with surround sound? Yeah, now it does. Uh, now it has the ability to add subtitles. Now it can remove commercials. Now it has so many great features. Batch recording is there. Different episodes, there. What else? Timed recordings for, uh, for, for radio, for internet radio. Really a cool program. So what is it? This is a streaming recorder where for audio and video, it does a great job. Audios 1 is actually a combination of three different packages. It's these ones. Audio's Music, so it records music streams. Audio's Movies, records movie streams. And Audio's Radio, internet radio. You can set it for programs, individual stations, and now we can time record as well. Pretty darn cool. So let me show you the program itself. Oh, first off, people always go, is it legal? It's a very important question. If You have to check your local laws and understand your local laws, but here's the, the, uh, the thing for the US. So US copyright law, etc. They have chapter 10 and they say you can't allege copyright infringement based on non-commercial use for consumer uh, by a consumer to make musical recordings. And it calls out digital as well as analog. So yes, we're making a recording and that's really important. I'm gonna show you that. In fact, you have to pick the file type, which is important. So we're gonna do that. Uh, and then for video, you can't, uh, you can't turn off or try to circumvent any of the copy protection, and they don't. So that is their, uh, 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 what they're saying. So make sure you're a consumer. Make sure if you live in the U.S. that uh, you, know, you understand these. And if you live other places, you have to understand it. I know the U.K. has some pretty tough laws. Let me just show you this program because I happen to love this program. I've used it for years now. And this is it. It plays music, has your music collection, it has your video collection, radio stations you can listen to, podcasts, playlists even. It's a media center. But here's the buttons you want to see. Great new one for file convert. There's some great stuff in there. First thing I want you to do, as I told you, it can record in different formats. Go click this format button down here. For video files, I like MPEG-4, but uh, you can just put it in whatever you want. These are the new ones. It came in MWV, so a lot of different, that's like lossless stuff. I'm good with MP4, I like it smaller. This is GPU accelerated on a lot of these. And look, they're super fast and super fast with surround. There we go. For you quality buffs, there's highest quality and highest quality with surround. All right, let's pick that one. And there's the different options. I'm gonna leave it just like that. No changes. Da -da -da. Okay. So there's the batch recording, huge. That's a great new feature, I love that. So how do you do all this? Well, it doesn't give you Netflix, but if you have Netflix, it can record it. It doesn't give you Hulu, but if you have Hulu, it'll log you in. Amazon and Freevee. So Freevee is a neat, neat one because it, it's free and it has ads. So check this out, here's Hidden Figures. And look at this, it grabbed the metadata. Some people go, I have a screen recorder that I downloaded and it works on Linux. It doesn't go out and do this. This metadata makes it more valuable. It gives you a collection instead of just a couple files on a flash drive. So this is beautiful. It automatically downloads all of this. Hey, if you had a funny movie and you wanted to grab a piece of it, a little meme, you can go and grab a piece. But look what it did in the yellow. It identified the commercials. These are all the commercial breaks. To get rid of them, I just say, cut it out. Boop. As soon as I hit apply, they'll be gone. That is too cool, because now I have a good copy. Oh, and this is new. I have to click no. But subtitles. Subtitles are available. I already added one. I've tested this all out. It works amazingly well, and that's why I'm so excited about this. I'm going to search. It's going to scour the internet for subtitles. And as you're going to see in a few seconds, it'll find some. In fact, I've already, I've already got it. So here, I was in French. I'm going to go to English. There it is. All the different subtitles in English. Click on one. It's going to try and match up. Let's just click on one. See, here's, here's what it is. It's a bunch of timings and what was said. 
So it matches up the length of the movie and the length of the subtitle and tries to sync them up. That's what it's doing right now. I did find one. This one may not work because there's 21 seconds difference. But uh, I did find one that did work and it works very well. It's this one. So uh, there we go. I love that feature. It's great. Let me click here and click no. Okay, so how to batch record, because that's an important one and a neat one, because look at this. I've got episodes of IT Crowd, episode first season, second season, third season. I didn't have to sit here and click on them one by one because I batch recorded it. Let me show you how you do that. Click on batch record and click on add videos to queue. Pick a service that you want to batch from. Uh, Netflix is a great one because it has lots of series on there. Let's see, I like Breaking Bad, uh, Str Stranger Things, there we go. Let's go ahead and type Stranger Things. Stranger Things. Now, if I was gonna go up to the cabin where we don't have really good Wi-Fi and I wanna watch with my kids, oops, I guess I have to hit enter. There it is, Stranger Things. I'm gonna resume. And here it is, that's the beginning of episode one. But look, when I click Q, I get all of these. So uh, I select all. And I just added them to the queue. Now, for some strange reason, you have to click off of this before you click back onto it. And there it is. There's your queue. And when I hit this button, it records them all and puts them in like this. Oh, and for music, music is e e easy too. You click music. You, I have Spotify. I have Amazon Music. I don't have Apple Music, so I can't record from Apple Music. But here, I do have a Spotify. And when I record stuff, look at this metadata. This makes it so nice. It's the cover art. It's the 11th song from the album. It is the, has a genre and uh, it, it's great. Oh, look, it even has the lyrics. Oh, and if you wanted to grab a little section of it, maybe make a ringtone for yourself, you could go and grab the favorite part of this song, export the part and put it on your phone. You could have different ringtones for different people. Fantastic. Because that way you know who's calling before they you even pull it out of your pocket. Great piece of software, really valuable. And if you're a streamer, you absolutely need this. Oh, I wanted to show you one more thing, and that's the time recordings. This was actually one uh, I suggested to them. I said, hey, my wife's from France, and she loves listening, being able to listen to uh, your, your different stations that we have out here. Let's see, I'm not want local. All right, I clicked too far out. Okay, there's almost 60,000 radio stations from around the world. And here, if you're in Argentina, Brazil, Chile, you want to listen to stuff in your local tongue. They have you some Ukrainian stations on here too. But I told you my wife's from France. In fact, there's a program she asked, asked me to record for her. And it's this one. It's called Big Heads or Gross Tets. And I found out here, it's on RTL between... What is that? 3.30 and 5 p.m. So by subtracting nine hours, I'm going to try and do that. RTL, not the Belgium one. Let's see. RTL. There, there it is. Okay. So I click these three dots and then I hit create schedule and go ahead and I'm going to call it big heads. Big. I think I already did this. Heads. It's right there. But uh, let's go ahead and do it anyway. I uh, Repeat. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. I don't think it's on Saturday. But what did I say? It's on at 3 o'clock, so that's 6 a.m. to... Oops, I screwed that one up. Edit. It's not over. To 9 a.m. There. Now, you can't turn your computer off, but it will record it. So that is a great new feature. Surround sound recording, batch enabling, different episodes, uh, ability to add subtitles, the time recordings. Uh, if you're an expatriate, you need one of these. And uh, commercial identification and removal. Uh, that is just absolutely too cool. Uh, I couldn't believe that I've got this from Freevee and I was able to identify the commercial so easily. There it is. Uh, right there. Cut out the ads. Save it.
now I have something for my collection and it's tagged so beautifully. I do have a link for this down below. You will save 30 bucks if you uh, if you don't have it. And it will also give you a shortcut to the uh, up update version. If you do have the previous version, it'll look at the version license you have and tell you what it is to update it. Um, anyways, guys, hey, thanks so much for watching and uh, we'll catch you in the next one. This is a really neat program that will really pay for itself the first time you use it. Um, just too cool. Anyway, guys, see you in the next one.